How is the market these days for Russian artifacts? Well, I'm going to introduce you to a man who specializes in selling Russian artifacts. Meet Dennis. Coming by, ladies, don't mind me. <laughs> <laughs> We're not, we're not on camera, are we? Oh, you are on camera. Oh. You're starring live on BBC. Oh, <laughs> You're not really. That will break it. <laughs> I'm going to meet this man here, Dennis. Steady on there. <laughs> Dennis. <laughs> Good to see you, Dennis. Can't take him anywhere. Honestly, Hi. everywhere you turn, there oh, yeah. is Vincent. Is. Honestly, yeah. it's terrible. <laughs> right, fine. how are you doing? Fine, and you? Good to see Good. you. Antiques on high, brand new... Yes. Unit here, shop in Harrogate. Correct. But how long have you been here for? Uh, we've been here two and a half years. Right. Okay. In, in, in this, it's a in lovely. This I was going to. I don't know how to call it. Is it a shop or? A, it is a shop, it's basically, a shop, isn't it? it? Center, yeah. It's wonderful, isn't it? <laughs> this lady's got loads of money. I can tell. I can spot them oh, a mile off. Can, can I can. I really can. Where's your coloured trousers? Today? There you go, they're coloured. Well, no, but they're not bright. Not very bright, are uh, they? Am I a disappointment? Is that what you're you saying? You are. Yeah. You are. I expect you to be in really bright trousers. Well, they were bright when I bought them about 10 years ago. They've been washed out. <laughs> anyway, we're talking about Russian objects. We are. Yeah, talk yes. to us about Russian objects. Yes. Now, for obvious reasons, yeah. the market must have changed in the past 18 months or so. Tremendously. Okay. Yeah, tremendous change. Talk it through. Where, where, where did your interest in Russian items come from? <sighs> More by accident. Ah. I just came across one box originally. Did some research, did some homework, found out how they're made. Yeah. And the hours of work. Wow. To actually produce each, basically, little miniature portrait. They are. I mean, they're all hand painted, all aren't they? All hand painted. Yeah. They and how the Russians are known for these yeah. highly decorative it's pieces, a follow, aren't they? It, it, yeah, it's a follow-on from the icon painters. Of course, it is. after the revolution, yes. the churches got destroyed. Exactly. They had to do something, didn't they? How to work? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Let's paint boxes. <laughs> yeah, paint boxes. Yeah. Wow. Dennis so one box alone. alone. I mean, this one, for example. Yeah. The. Beautiful signed underneath there. All right, so there's the artist signature. That's the artist signature. That's the title. What is the title? Which in you this in? case is go with me. I have, this took a lot of research to this one. I can imagine. Yeah, yeah I can and imagine. It is the apple of youth and the living water. Wow, so loads that of significance here in title. all of these objects. Yeah, yeah. Keep that nice and tight and still. Let's have a good look at it. Let me know what you think at home. So tell me, we know it's hand painted. What is it made from? Paper mache. Is it? Yeah. Right. The true boxes are paper mache with beautiful red interiors. Gosh, that is stunning. Yeah. And if you smell them, you get that rich linseed oil smell. Wow. Which is impregnated with linseed wow. oil. Wow. So yeah. this isn't an, a, an ancient one then, is it? This one isn't, no. There's not a lot of age to this, but they're still made in exactly the same traditional manner. So it's interesting then that obviously these boxes are collected as antique mm. boxes, but yeah. the new ones can be as important as the old ones. Oh, yeah. Depending on the artist, I see. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And how has the market changed because of the, <laughs> the situation, Ukraine situation? being as it is, we, I have a colleague in, who lives just outside Moscow, and he actually gets them direct from the artists. Right. And because of the situation there at the moment yeah they can't produce them to get them out of russia right the market has basically dried up in that respect right so we are struggling i have an order being completed at the moment right of okay. seven, the seven yeah. boxes there and it'll be i'll get them when i get them when of course there's it, no as you, simple yeah. as that yeah you know so yeah. the scarcity of them now is going you know, and harder harder. has that affected the value? Are, are, are the ones that are around, have they increased in value? With some people, yes. Yeah. Because it's rarity. Yeah. I try to be fair and keep the prices below retail. Right, okay. Which to me is the important thing. Okay, well, you've got to sell them. Yeah. I have to sell and them. And you're known for selling these things, oh, so people good. come yeah, to you specifically. Yeah. Yeah. So talk me through some prices. Just give me some ideas. So the egg on stand, roughly. That one. On that one, the retail price. Now, this is quite unique in the sense. It's Vassalissa the Beautiful. That's his 
we made yeah. him. But this was a presentation piece for the company of DuPont. Oh, okay. 30 years service. How, how interesting. What yeah. an unusual. Simple. Yeah, commemorative there. piece. Clabby, you know, that's that one. And value on that one, Dennis? That one, um, well, I've got... Memory said I've got 55 on it. That's no money, is it? Retail with over 100. My goodness me, yeah, and, and yeah. this one? This one, now that is about my most expensive box on to date. Okay. Retail on that one would be anything up to about £400. It's still not a lot of money when you yeah. think about the work. Oh, hours. I mean, it's hours. bonkers, and not just yeah. the work, the, you know, the incredible mm. talent. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, generations of, of, of practice and teaching and... Well, you've got a, a system of apprenticeship. Yeah. And it's seven years minimum. Right. To become a basic artist. Wow. What would be the most expensive you've ever come across? Well, the most expensive I've ever come across was retail about 800. Right. And I saw that within two weeks. Yeah, I can imagine. But that was a big... Wow. They are yeah. absolutely exquisite, aren't they? Uh, and this one is, I love this one. Tell me about this one. Its title is The Boyfriend. The Boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you actually just sit there at the, the bottom. Right, is that what it says? That's yeah. what it says, The Boyfriend, if you actually Very good. translate that. Okay. But you've got Mother of Pearl. Inlaid underneath. Oh, incredible. It's all painted over the middle. And then if you open the box up. Again. Yeah, yeah, that lovely red yeah. lacquered interior. Exactly. What, what are they used for generally? What do you put in a box? Good. Very good answer and very. You know. And question. Yeah. yeah. I've, I've actually had a, a gentleman bought one which had a beautiful ballerina on the front. Yeah. And he put a, his wife's new ring in it. Lovely. As a present. As a present. Okay, yeah. so a little trinket box. Yeah. But first and foremost, they are little boxes of art, aren't they? They are individual pieces of art. Every one. Yeah. Absolutely superb workmanship. Dennis, thank you very much. You're welcome.